Welcome to the Mini Tam Tam demo tutorial. Mini Tam Tam is an application that will be included on the OLPC XO computer. It has three applications, Mini Tam Tam, the Tam Tam Editor, and Synth Lab, that will allow children to play music on the XO computer. So I will first show you Mini Tam Tam. So to launch Mini Tam Tam, you move your cursor to the frame of the screen and you launch Mini Tam Tam by clicking on the little drum icon here. So once you're in Mini Tam Tam, you will see the interface, which consists of different instrument icons here. And you have the right part, which controls the different drum and beats. And then you have sliders at the bottom. So I'll start with the icons here. So each icon represents a sound, and when you click on it, you can hear it. So for instance, the piano, saxophone, bottle here. You can also select different sounds by moving the arrow keys on the keyboard. So you can cycle through sounds, and this is quite handy when you want to quickly preview what sound you want. This is a little didgeridoo here. Okay, so you can actually play the sounds, the different instruments, using the OLPC EXO keyboard. So if I start here, See, this is a normal major scale, and the keyboard is laid out like a piano. So actually, it starts on the Z key for the lower octave, and stops on the comma here. And the, you have the black keys of the piano on the upper row. So starting at S, you have C sharp. Then. So you can easily play like a normal piano, so I will just choose another sound, which will be easier to... So I can do a major chord, can do a minor chord, like a normal piano. And the second octave starts on the Q key. And once again, you can do the black keys by pressing 2 and 3, then 5, 6 and 7. So now we will look at the drum sections. So basically, to start a drum, the drums are generated by an algorithm. So each time you generate a new drum, the beat will be a slightly different. And you have three parameters you can use to control the drum. You have the complexity of the beat. You then have the length of the beat, which means the length of the actual loop. And you have tempo. And I will show you, I'll start a beat to show you. So you click the little dice there, which will start a beat. You can then choose different drum kits. You can choose the Arabic kit here. You can kit, choose the African kit. And now if we want to change the parameters, we can change them in real time. So I can select here the complexity and raise it. And as you see, the beat is more complex now. I can also change the length to a longer value. So now the loop is longer. Then the tempo, we can slow it down. Put it faster. And each time I click on the dice, I will generate a new beat using the parameters of the sliders. Then we have the stop and play button here, which you can use to stop or play your beat. And when you have a beat running, I will just put it a little slow here. Okay, you can play the keyboard and the instruments. Now I'll just stop the beat here. So there are two sliders at the bottom of the screen. There is the volume slider here, so if I put it down, you'll see the sound is lower and I can raise it. It's a normal volume slider. Okay. Then you have the reverb slider. The, the reverb will add some reverb to the sound, so if I put it up, you can hear a little echoing there. And now if I start a beat, there will be some echo or reverb on the beat also. Can choose this kit here. 
Let's start it again. Actually, I need to generate. Ah, there we go. So now we have a lot of reverb on the drum. Okay. Now I'll explain the lower row here, which you can see four little microphones here. And above the microphones, you have little record buttons. So this means that you have four slots where you can record your own sound. And to do so, you just click the record button here. Hello. And then you can play it back on the keyboard. So now you see that I have some reverb. I'll just remove a bit of reverb there. And then you can play it like any other instrument. There you go. So now you can record up to four sounds using the microphone slots. And then we have the SynthLab buttons here. SynthLab is another application within TamTam which allows you to create your own sounds using synthesis. So to open SynthLab, you can just click the little record button here, which will open a preset in SynthLab. And I will explain this in another video, but for now we can just hear what this preset sounds like. There we go, it's a little long, so I'm just gonna adjust the duration here because I want to show you how it integrates with Mini Tam Tam. So when you're happy with the sound there, you just click record here, click your sound, play it on the keyboard, you can play multiple notes also, close it, and then the sound will be in Mini Tam Tam. And you can record up to four sounds also using this technique. So this is pretty much the end of the Mini Tam Tam tour. We will show you a synth lab video pretty soon. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.